Stingle service today and um, a bit different I know because we're not in church uh, but hopefully we can do everything at home. Uh, some of you will have received a pack uh, if you haven't got one of those don't worry I'm just going to run through what's in there so you can make your own Chris Dingle. So let's have a look at what there is. Well the first thing that didn't come in the pack is an orange um, so um, we'll need one of those. And the orange signifies the world. Because it's sort of world shaped. Okay, so that's the orange. You need an orange. Let's have a look in this bag and see what we've got here. Um, for those of you got, it, there's a card with instructions. So if you can't follow me, you can follow this. And there's the prayer that we're going to say later on. Um, what else is in this bag? Um, we've got a piece of foil. And we've got a bag. A little bag with some goodies in. And some ribbon. Okay, so let's have a look what's in this little bag first. We have, if I can get them out, one, two, three, four cocktail sticks. And the four cocktail sticks signify the four seasons winter which we know about now spring summer and autumn and what you do oh first of all the orange what i've done is got a responsible grown-up um because i'm grown up but may not be responsible uh, to cut a cross in because that'll help later on when we put the candle in but the four cocktail sticks go into the orange one for winter, one for spring, one for summer, and one for autumn. So we've got the four sticks. Right, let's see what else we've got in this bag. Well, there is in this bag 
some sweets and some raisins which you won't be able to see on the camera but they're there and they signify the fruits of the world so everything that's there that's good for us and what we do is we oh that, that sweet's about to break down i'll make it for you here in the dolly midgets have got a bit hard in this something so if you've got one like me you might find it a bit difficult to um put the sweets on so what i'm going to do is put the fruit on so they've got sultanas here and they go on to your four sticks like that <laughs> So I've managed to get one of the jellies on. Um, but the other sweets are a little hard for me just to I'd have to take a bit of time. You can always pause the video and um, if you can't get them on, you can always just eat them. So we've got an orange that's the world, four cocktail sticks that are the four seasons, and some fruit that are the fruits of the world. And then, and I can find where I put it, we've got, just take this off, a ribbon. And I can get, a uh -huh. This was harder than I thought it was. There we are. Bring it up now. We've got a sticky ribbon, which signifies the blood of Jesus, because Jesus wasn't just a baby. He grew up to be a man, and he died on a cross for us so that we could be with God forever so get it so that you can see the ribbon goes round the world and the very last thing in our box I need it, is the candle which signifies Jesus, who's the light of the world. And you've got a piece of, two pieces of foil here. I'm just going to put like that. And I'm just going to get the orange. And with my thumb, just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the foil into there. And then you can get the candle. And that's our Christingle. Now you might not be able to follow that that quickly, so you you can get on with work it, working on that. You can always pause the video, and we're going to um, now have a little story. And what I did was, I um, contacted some friends of mine, and we had a Zoom meeting, and um, so that we could each join in telling the story, so you wouldn't just hear my voice. So um, here's the recording of that Zoom meeting. Hello, are we all here? OT, you're on mute. I can't see Barney. He's just joining. Sorry everyone. <sighs> Next time we do this, can we have the meeting at 2am? We'll see, as everyone learnt their parts. 
I have learnt the words, but it took me so long, I haven't had time to colour the pictures in. Do be cool. Don't worry. Let's get started. OT, you're first. Uh, woman called Mary was doing her chores when an angel arrived, but not through the doors. He simply appeared and he dropped to the floor. Hello Mary, he said. God is with you. God is with me, she wondered. But what does that mean? What's this all about? Is it some kind of dream? The angels just smiled. Don't be scared. Please don't scream. God is happy with you and will bless you. God knocks down the proud and lifts up the meek, does mighty things for those who are weak, and blesses the ones who serve as he seeks. So sing out his praise. He's amazing! You'll soon have a baby, the angel went on. A quite special baby, called Jesus, God's son. The heir of King David will sit on his throne. And his kingdom will last forever. But how? Mary asked. I don't understand. I'm engaged to be wed, but he's not yet my man. Trust God, said the angel. He's got it all planned. His spirit will come upon you. God's own only son is the child you will bear. Impossible? No! Your cousin would swear that she couldn't have a baby. The proof is right there. She's suspecting her son. Go and see her. There's nothing that God cannot do, don't you see? Well then, Mary nodded. Please do that for me. This impossible thing, his servant I'll be. Then the angel waved by. And he left her. All night Joseph tossed, all night Joseph turned. He just couldn't sleep. He'd only just learned that Mary was pregnant. What's more, she's confirmed. The baby she bore was not his. Joseph, don't worry. Joseph, don't weep. Lay down your head and go back to sleep. Mary's been faithful, her love strong and deep, and the baby is God's own son. She told him this tale, an angelic visit, a son to be born by God's Holy Spirit. The more she went on, the less he believed it. He wanted to break their engagement. But just as sleep came, the angel appeared. Don't worry, he said, there's nothing to fear. I know that you're troubled. So you need to hear that Mary is telling the truth. The baby she bears is God's only son. Call his name Jesus, for he is the one. God promised to send, to save everyone. Emmanuel, God is with us. Is the answer to all the prophets have said. So keep your engagement, be glad, and be wed. And then Jesus woke up, that's just what he did. He took Mary to be his wife. Ooh. Joseph, don't worry, Joseph, don't weep. Lay down your head and go back to sleep. Mary's been faithful, a love strong and deep. And her baby is God's own son. Shepherds lying on a hill The night was silent, all was still They watched their flock of grazing sheep And tried hard not to fall asleep When bright and white an angel came To light the night, a fiery flame The shepherds trembled where they lay The angel said, don't be afraid 
Sing praise to God and give him glory. Celebrate his wondrous story of love and joy and peace to men. For it begins in Bethlehem. The news is good, the news I bring. Good news to make you leap and sing. Good news for people everywhere. Good news of joy and love for all to share. Good news for God has kept his word and sent his Saviour, Christ the Lord. The one he promised he would send is born this day in Bethlehem. And this will be a sign for you. This is how you'll know it's true. You'll find a baby wrapped in cloth, sleeping in a cattle trough. The angel then was joined by more, six and twelve and twenty-four, and then too many more to number, a heaven choir loud as thunder. And so the angels left that place, just like they'd come without a trace, except for all they sang and said, which echoed in the shepherd's head. Let's go to Bethlehem and see. The shepherds all, as one, agreed. They found the baby where he lay, asleep upon a bed of hay. They told them what the angels said. Then Mary smiled and raised her head. A secret hid there in her eyes, for she was not one bit surprised. So back they went to sheep and hill, no longer silent, hardly still, but singing loud like angels bright of all that they had seen that night. Sing praise to God and give him glory. Celebrate his wondrous story of love and joy and peace to men. For it begins in Bethlehem. The store watchers watch the stars go by looking for secrets in the sky. And then they saw a special star, away in the west, away afar. A king's been born, that's what it means. Judea way or so it seems. They climbed aboard their camely beast and set off west from their homes back east. One hump, two humps, lumpity lump, the star watchers went with bump and a thump. One hump, two humps, humpity lump. The star watchers followed the star. At last the journey came to an end. They bought their camels in Jerusalem. And they went to Herod, king of the nation, to ask him for some information. Oh, king, they asked, they were quite polite. Somewhere round here on this starry night a brand new baby king abides. Can you tell us where this child resides? A worried look crossed Herod's face. He had no plans to be replaced. So he asked his priests if they could tell where this brand new baby king might dwell. The priests all answered straight away. Bethlehem is what the prophets say. And Herod thought an evil thing. I think I need to meet this king. Star Watcher's friend, King Herod smiled. In Bethlehem you find the child. Would you tell me where you find him, please? The exact address would put my mind at ease. Herod, of course told them a lie. He had already planned for the child to die. When he found the boy, that's what he'd do. So the star was just left without a clue. The shining star led them to the place. A simple house, not some fancy space. And when they saw the little boy, they gave him a pile of special toys and um, present rather 
fit for a king. A bunch of shiny golden things. A spice called myrrh. A sort of perfume. While smelly frankincense fill the room. Then in their night they had a dream. That showed them Herod's evil scheme. So they never said where the boy's house lay. They went straight home by another way. One hump, two humps, lumpity lump. The store watchers went with bump and a thump. One hump, two humps, lumpity lump. The star watchers followed the star. So what is the point of angels and shepherds? And camels and stars, you say? Is it just a nice story to tell to the children? To celebrate Christmas Day. It's not just a story. It's not just for kids. It's the hinge on which history swings. That Bethlehem baby grew into a man. Who challenged all powers and kings. He taught us that love is better than hate. That serving beats being in charge. He showed us the value of each human life, the little as well as the large. And then on a cross he died for us, died to take all our wrongs away. And walked three days later, right out of the tomb, to turn this dark light night into day. And that is the good news the angels proclaim, the heart of all Jesus would do. A new life for now, a new life forever. That's his Christmas present to you. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story, and, and it's a very important story. It tells us, oh God, sorry, that making a rustling noise, and isn't it? And what we're going to do now is um, we're going to um, light our candles. If I just prepare this so that um, you can sing. Um, so we're going to light our Christingles. Um, so you need some way to do that for you and be very very careful um, make sure you keep it away from inflammable things so I'm going to move my bag out of the way um, so that um, there isn't any danger of uh, and I'm going to have to put it down like this I so you get oops it's fallen over just need to get it to a place where it won't fall over I don't want it falling over when, when I light it. And um, when we light the candle, we're going to sing a song. And then Silent Night, we're going to sing. And then I'm going to say a prayer. And then we'll finish with um, by singing Away in a Manger. Okay, so um, hopefully you know those songs. So let's um, let me just sort out my thing. So I'm moving bags of, that Miss Sweeties came in, um, so that they don't get fire because they need to be extra specially lit there. Okay, so And now we're going to um, sing Silent Night. <laughs>
just say a prayer. So let's pray. Lord Jesus, light of the world, as I fold this crimped single and think about your great love for me, help me to take the light out into the world and to share your love with others, especially those who need it most. Amen. And now we're going to sing Away in a Manger. Christingle. So let's have a blessing. May the love of God fill your houses this Christmas. May the joy of the sun be everywhere you go. And may the peace brought by the Holy Spirit be in your heart now and forevermore. Amen. So, have a good Christmas. I know it's going to be different. But remember, the important thing is enjoy it and be kind to one another. God bless you. Bye.